All right, so this video we're going to look at a uh, sinking fund. All right, so if, if you notice the formula I have here, it's not uh, the sinking fund formula. It's the formula for the future value of an ordinary annuity. And let's just go over this and I'll explain why I have this formula here. So the future value S of an ordinary annuity used to accumulate funds is given by this. S equals R times 1 plus I to the N minus 1 over I. Where the big R, that is the payment at the end of each period. Little r is your interest rate. Okay. M is the number of compounding periods per year, which that means if it's compounded annually, M would be 1. Compounded semi-annually, M would be 2. Quarterly, M would be 4. Monthly, M would be 12. And daily, M would be 365. And then T is the number of years. And the reason we need the R, the M, and the T is to get I and N, which you see that's in the formula. So I is R over M, N is M times T. All right, so why do I have future value of an ordinary annuity here instead of the sinking fund formula? Well, first, let's talk about what sinking fund is. The sinking, the sinking fund is, let's say that in... I don't know, in four years, you want to, or, or say, say in two years, you want to buy a new computer, all right? And let's say you need to save up $3,000 for the computer, monitor, printer, all that stuff, okay? So you got to save up $3,000, and you need that $3,000 in two years. So if you opened up an account that earned interest and say that interest was compounded monthly okay and you were going to make monthly payments into that account how much would each payment need to be in order to have that three thousand dollars in two years that's what a sinking funds telling you all right and the reason I have this is because what this is the sinking fund formula, it's just the future value of an ordinary annuity solved for R. So if you take this and you multiply, if you multiply this whole thing here by the reciprocal here, I over 1 plus I to the N minus 1, well you see that's going to cancel this out here and so you would be left with just the R on this side. And then over here, you would be left with S times this, I over 1 plus I to the N minus 1. And this is your sinking fund formula. Okay, so it's, that's all it is, is this. Okay. And I do have a video on future value of an ordinary annuity. You can check that out. Uh, so let's take a look at our examples. Okay. Uh, so here we go. We've got two examples. We've got one that just gives you all the information to plug in to the formula. And then we have a little word problem here. Uh, so I'll work both of those. All right. So let's look at this. It says... Find the amount of each payment to be made into a sinking fund to accumulate the given amount. Payments are made at the end of each period. So we want a total of $65,000 in four and a half years. Okay, so in four and a half years we need $65,000. The money earns 6% compounded semi-annually. All right, so let's just go ahead and write our formula down. So remember on the previous screen we solved for big R. Okay. Uh, and that equals S times, and that's going to be I over 1 plus I to the N minus 1. Okay, so there's our formula. So we need S, which is 65,000, okay, 
and then I'm going to get little r, that's the interest rate, that's 0 0.06, compounded semi-annually, so m is uh, 2, and then we have uh, i is r over m, which is 0 0.06 over 2, which that would be 0 0.03. And then N is M times T. Okay, if you remember over here, see I is R over M, N is M over T. T represents the number of years. Okay. So that's going to be M is 2 times the number of years, 4.5, and so that would give us 9. All right, so now look at this. We've got S, we've got I, and we have N. So we just plug everything in. And so we have R is equal to S, which is 65,000 times I, which is 0 0.03 over 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to the N, which is 9 minus 1. All right, so there is a couple of ways that you can plug this in. Uh, I don't know what the best way for your calculator is, but what I would do is let's just go ahead and punch in the denominator. So let me show you that. So just type in 1 plus 0 0.03 and hit equals, and that will give you 1.03 and then hit your exponent button, so raise that to the ninth, and hit enter. That'll give you 1.30477 and then minus one equals. And so that's gonna give you 0 0.30477384 down here, okay? So the options you have, you can actually just write that number out down here Okay, you can write that number out and then type in 0 .03 divided by that and then retype that number in. But what I would do is on your calculator, there's a button that looks like this. Uh, X and then negative one, okay? So what we'll do is with, the, with, with that number, the 0 .30477384, with that number still in there, just hit this button on your calculator. And let's see, where is it? There it is. All right, so hit that button, and it sh and you should have something like this on your screen, okay? At least on my calculator. And hit Enter. And that will give you 3.28112856, okay? And then hit times 0 0.03 and hit enter and that'll give you 0 0.09843385 and so that's that value here okay and then times the 65,000 and hit enter and so that would give us r is equal to 6398 point two zero and so this is what your payments would have to be semi-annually for four years to accumulate the sixty five thousand all right so let's look at the next one it says Julie wants to buy buy a twenty four thousand dollar car in six years how much money must she deposit at the end of each quarter in an account paying five percent compounded quarterly so that she will have enough to pay for the car. All right, so, well, once again, let's write our formula down. R is equal to S times, and then I over one plus I to the N minus one. All right, so let's go ahead and get S. That's the total amount we need at the end of the six years, the 24,000. 
Little r, the interest rate's 5%, so that's 0 0.05. M, it's going to be quarterly, compounded quarterly, so M is 4. And then we have uh, I is R over M, which is 0 0.05 over 4. And I don't know, is that going to be a, see if that's a long decimal. No. And so that's going to be 0 0.0125. And then N is M times T. So M is 4 times, and then T is the number of years. That's 6 years. And so that's going to be 24. So now let's plug this all this into the formula. So R is 24,000. That's the S. Times I. And in this case, I is 0 0.0125 over and then 1 plus i 0 0.0125 raised to the n which is 24 minus 1 and then when I plug all that in let's see 1.0125 raised to the 24th minus 1 and then I'm going to do the reciprocal of that and times the numerator 0 0.0125 and then times the 24,000 and that is going to be my payments at the end of each quarter so that's going to be $863.68 and there's my answer all right, so I hope this helped. Uh, if, if I didn't help you with the calculator, I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's just, you know, all calculators are different. Just practice with it. Uh, get your teacher to show you if you, you know, the, the, they can help you type it all in. So, and, and if you decide you want to type the whole thing in at one time, like all of this in at one time, I, I would personally advise not to do that because you're going to end up leaving out a parenthesis or something but hey you know if you can do that then that's fine go ahead and do it but just be careful with your parentheses because if you miss a parenthesis or something then it's not going to give you the right answer all right so thanks for watching give me a like share subscribe and see you later